Secretary for Development Michael Wong held a press conference on the government's response to the Task Force on Land Supplies report on the overall land supply strategy and land supply options. Mr. Wong said the government has decided to fully endorse the eight land supply options proposed by the task force. Three short to medium term options include developing brownfield sites, tapping into private agriculture land reserve in the new territories, and exploring alternative uses of sites under private recreational leases. Mr. Wong said 32 hectares of the Fanling Golf Course will be claimed for housing. That's a balancing act, and I hope the community can, can understand that. The exact number of the exact flat yield to be produced from the 32 hectares of land will be subject to a detailed technical study to be conducted. The government will also commence a study on reclamation near Kao Yi Chao for the construction of an artificial island with a total area of about 1,000 hectares. At this moment, we'll focus our efforts on the 1,000 hectares of land to be reclaimed around Kao Yi Chao. With regard to the 700 hectares of land around Hiding Chao, at the moment there's no firm timetable. The five medium to long-term options include near-shore reclamation outside Victoria Harbour, developing the East Lantau Metropolis, developing caverns and underground space, more new development areas in the new territories, and developing the River Trade Terminal site.